Before we start this video, this is going to be a collaboration between me and Apex Wrestling. Make sure you guys check him out. He makes great wrestling content. But yeah, let's get into the predictions. So at 125 pounds, I don't think I really need to explain this. It's going to be Spencer Lee's winning this weight class. No one's really been able to challenge him other than Matt Ramos. So I think he'll be able to win this pretty easily. My first prediction is a no-brainer. It's Spencer Lee. Spencer Lee has just been very dominant, uh, pinning the top three guys in the country. Um, he was down 8-1 to one against Matt Ramos, and he still got the pin. Uh, there's really nobody in this weight class challenging. At 133 pounds, this is also pretty easy. It's going to be RBY. He's just levels above the rest of the field. I expect him to win here pretty easily. Another no-brainer is Roman Bravo Young, or RBY. Uh, just like Spencer Lee, no one to challenge him. He's very quick, very light on his feet, very dominant, very good at scoring takedowns, has really solid defense. Um, I think he's only been taken down uh, like maybe twice on the year, but that's really it. Then at 141 pounds, I got real woods. Bo Bartlett did have a somewhat close match with him, but Woods was able to get the win. I think he was able to do that once again at the Big Ten Championships. And he's like dominant against all the other wrestlers at 141 pounds. All right, so hear me out on this one. I think Iowa gets her second Big Ten champ here in Real Woods, but he's most likely gonna run into Bo Bartlett in the finals. And he beat Bo Bartlett at the duel, but it was only within the takedown. I do still think that he can pull off the win, but at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised to see Bo Bartlett get the up. At 149, I think everyone has Austin Gomez as the favorite, but if he is out due to injury, I think I'll have to go with Yaya Thomas here. Sasso has been looking pretty good and has a win over Yaya Thomas, but Yaya Thomas, he's just a really explosive wrestler, and if he can get to his offense, I think he could beat anyone in this weight class, maybe other than Austin Gomez. So I expect him to come out of there with his first career Big Ten title. I think Austin Gomez will win his second Big Ten title. However, about five weeks ago, he got injured in a match against Yaya Thomas. Then I think Sammy Sasso will win his second Big Ten title. He most likely will go up against Yaya Thomas. And the last time he faced Yaya Thomas, their match went into overtime. And it was a super close victory for Sammy Sasso. So once again, wouldn't be surprised to see an upset here. At 157 pounds, I got the favorite here winning. It's Peyton Robb. He's number one ranked in the country, and I think he's going to win an NCAA title this year. So Big Ten title really shouldn't be that much of a challenge for him. He has wins over top 15 ranked guys like Patty Gallagher, Trevor Trumbly, and he's beat Ed Scott, who has ranked top five twice. So I think he'll be able to take home a Big Ten title this year. This is a very bold prediction, but I say Levi Haynes wins a Big Ten title. Uh, he's a really tough wrestler. He's definitely a stud. Uh, I know Peyton Robb is number one in the country and is very, very tough as well. But uh, Levi Haynes, I say, I say Levi, Levi pulls it off here. Uh, once again, wouldn't be surprised if uh, Peyton Robb were to win it. But I think Levi Haynes can hang with him for a good seven. It's 165, which has a number of ranked guys. Number five, Cam Amin, Number six, Dina Mitty. Number nine, Patrick Kennedy. And number 10, Alex Facundo. And all these guys have beat each other. I mean, Amin's beat Hamidi, Hamidi's beat Kennedy, Kennedy's beat Facundo, and Facundo's beat Amin. So any one of these guys can win, but I think Hamidi's going to come out here. His loss to Amin was very close in which he made a critical mistake, but I think he'll be able to correct it and win this match. Patrick Kennedy at 165. I would actually love to see Alex Facundo and Patrick Kennedy for a third time in the Big Ten Finals. I hope I do see it. Anything can happen. I really want it to happen. I would love to see this rematch for a third time in the Big Ten Finals. That would be a really good match. But yeah, Patrick Kennedy at 165. Then at 174, it's Carter Storacci for sure. He had a somewhat close match with Nelson Brands, but in reality, he was pretty much controlling Brands the whole match. I expect him to win here. 74 is pretty self-explanatory. Carter Storacci is just a dominant wrestler at 174. He, d he got that dog in him. Like, no one can beat him. I mean, he might get a challenge from Mikey Labriola, but not anyone else. So, yeah, Carter Serrat. Then at 184, I got Aaron Brooks. Hasn't really been challenged that much this season. He does have one loss, but it was to an Iowa State guy. And it was a pretty close match. Brooks almost came back after getting caught early on. Ended up losing that one 9-7. But in the Big Ten, the only guy to really challenge Brooks has been Caleb Romero. And I personally don't see him beating a guy like Aaron Brooks at the Big Ten. The self-explanatory one, Aaron Brooks. I don't really have any other reason to choose anyone else in the 184 weight class. So 
Aaron Brooks at 184, easy pick once again. Then at 197 pounds, I got Max Dean. He's number three ranked nationally, and his only losses on the season are to Ethan Laird of Ryder and Michael Beard of Lehigh, which happened pretty early on in the season in December. So I don't think that should really affect him. He seems to have returned to form by now. Should win the Big Ten team. Once again, another obvious pick. I mean, these Penn State guys are just dominant. Uh, Max Dean, he, ba he beat some of the guys uh, in this weight class before that are in the Big Ten. So, yeah, Max Dean, 197. And at heavyweight, this is a loaded weight class. It's got number one, Mason Paris. Number two, Greg Kirkfoot. Number three, Tony Cassiope. And then there's also number four, Lucas Davison of Northwestern. So pretty loaded bracket, and I think all four of these guys will make the semifinals, but it would be Kirkfoot versus Paris in the finals. And although Kirkfoot has beaten Paris in the past three times, the most recent time they wrestled, Paris was able to get the win. I think I'll be able to repeat that here and win the Big Ten. It's between Greg Kirkfleet or Mason Paris for me. I left out Tony Cassiope because yes, he's a good wrestler, but he isn't really better than Mason Paris and Greg Kirkfleet as he lost to both of them. So, and Greg Kirkfleet actually has a loss against Mason Paris and lost his number one ranking because of it, but he's seen him wrestle better. So if he can improve, which I think he will improve, then Greg Kirkfleet 100% wins this weight class. Hey guys, that's all for me and Apex Wrestling's collaboration on our predictions for the Big Ten Wrestling Championships. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and also check out Apex Wrestling. I'll link him in the comments. Also, make sure you subscribe, get us a 5k. Peace.